You can use similar triangles to measure something without actually taking a tape measure and stretching it up. There are two methods. One method is if you use a mirror. So if you, as a person, put a mirror on the ground. So I'm going to label that this is a mirror. And if you backed up all the way until you could just see the very tip of whatever you're trying to measure. So if my eyes are right here, then I'm going to use a special property of mirrors and light. And what that is is that light bouncing off a mirror will bounce off at a similar angle. And by similar, I mean congruent. So what we've done is we've created congruent angles there. So again, what I did is I backed all the way up. I kept the mirror in place, or I guess I could stay in place and have someone move the mirror until I could see just the very tippy top of whatever I'm trying to, to measure. The way that we create similar triangles here is assuming that I'm standing perfectly straight, so this is a right angle, and assuming that nature did a good job of growing this tree, and this is a right angle, then we have an angle-angle shortcut, so we have two similar triangles, which I could draw down below. So that would be a right angle, and then this angle would be congruent to the angle formed by light bouncing off that mirror. So you could use my height, which you can measure, you can measure the distance between me and the mirror. You can measure the distance between the mirror and your object. And you could use that proportion to find that missing side, the height of your object. So that's one way of using similar triangles to measure something tall. The second method uses shadows. So let's say you had the sun up here. And at the same time, you measured a person's shadow and a shadow of whatever you're trying to measure. So let's say it was a tree. So here is the sun, and let's say at some point in time, I cast a shadow like that, and then the object I'm trying to measure, in this case a tree, casts a shadow, which will be a little bit longer. Then what I can do is I can basically create similar triangles. Assuming that the sun angle does not change, that is, if I measure these at the exact same time, then I will create a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, and this angle between myself and the angle of the sun will be constant between me and the object I'm trying to measure. So in this case, you would measure the shadow length and the person's height, and then over here you would measure the shadow length. And you could use similar triangles to find the height of your object. Both methods work, and this one will always work, and this one would work if you have a mirror handy.